what up youtube i'm back so another pretty great episode of Q season 4 to the top uh, i liked it i don't think it was as good as last week's episode because i don't think that we got as much information as we got in last week's episode you know we didn't get the things that i usually like but it was still a really good episode you know it was especially about hinata and founding himself and what to do you know in this first year training camp because he's only a ball boy so let's get right to it anyhow we all know that hinata went to the first year training camp without being invited so he was reprimanded by a lot of people one of these people was coach ukai and we're going to talk about something that is you know important to him later in the uh, review but you know he was reprimanded by coach ukai it wasn't like uh, coach ukai was really really bad he just wants the best for hinata you know so i really like that discussion right there he just the thing that he said at the end is that to not underestimate you know what a ball boy can do you know so i really like that discussion right there and then we saw that he was uh, reprimanded by you know his teacher that is on the bench with coach ukai usually i don't remember exactly what he said but he basically said that you have to work hard to to go to the top you know because you you are at the bottom and to be at the top you have to work really really hard so i like i really like this 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 discussion and then Hinata was all, also reprimanded by Daichi you know obviously he's the captain of the team uh, but you know it was a pretty cool moment for me you know it was pretty cool I thought you, you know the discussions that we saw Hinata have with coach Ukai with uh, the teacher you know some of the things that they said to him I thought that was great now let's get back to the first year training camp because while Hinata was there the coach from Shirato Rizawa basically said that even if Hinata works really really hard he won't let him play and train with the other first years you know so that's kind of harsh but we all know that this kind of coach likes the player that is tall and strong you know kind of like Wakatoshi you know even though there's not other players like Wakatoshi right now in this training camps that's the kind of player that he likes so that's why he doesn't want Hinata and we all saw his backstory in the third season I think when uh, Shirato Rizawa was going up against Karasuno obviously this coach is pretty small he wasn't able to you know play uh, like the other powerful strong players so that's why he wants this kind of player you know so that uh, that was a cool moment during the episode but the thing that I like the most is that is that Wakatoshi showed up at the first year's training camp with other, you know, alumni or third year's players from Shirato Rizawa. I thought that was pretty cool. And, you know, he had a moment with Hinata. He basically told him what he's what he's doing at that training camp because he's not even playing, you know. So I, I would really like for them to have kind of, a, kind of a relationship, you know, even though Wakatoshi is a third year, I think that he can give Hinata a lot of pointers, uh, you know, so I thought that was pretty cool, even though it was just small, a small amount of, you know, kind of pointer, it, it was pretty cool for me. By the way, Coach Ukai's grandfather, the first Coach Ukai basically is in the hospital because he's ill again, so that's worrisome you know he's I, I really like his character in this show so hopefully he'll he'll I don't want him to die you know but we all know that that's the reason why he quit coaching is because of his illness you know and he's pretty old so hopefully he'll be all right um, that's something that I think will be pretty big this season because I don't think they would have said something like that if it wasn't going to come into play in this season you know so we'll have to see what's gonna happen with that but yeah, we saw Karasuno train, obviously they're training for, you know, the Nationals and something that I thought was pretty interesting in the episode is when Coach Ukai was talking to the teacher, I always forget his name, but they were talking about Hinata and what, you know, he was doing right now at the training camp and I think they basically said that because of them, uh, Hinata hasn't gotten better in other phases phases of the game you know he's a great spiker but the other phases of his game is not that great so i think they've basically said that you know they've been been uh, holding him back from being the best player that he can be you know so 
I thought I really liked this discussion and you know this episode was basically about Hinata finding finding what he can do better you know and how he can get better so I really like that that uh, episode and uh, that shot right there of Hinata at the end of the episode I thought was great so yeah man it was a great episode this is a shorter review because I don't think there's that much to talk about we didn't really see Kageyama at the uh, you know Japan under 19 uh, training camp uh, but uh, I, I'm guessing that we'll see them a little bit more in next week's episode I don't know but you know uh, let me know what you thought about this week's episode of the covers down below let me know what you think is gonna happen next I do Haikyuu reviews every Friday so subscribe for that but I also do other anime related things like Black Clover reviews on Tuesdays uh, Boku no Hero Academia Season 4 reviews on Saturday morning and then I do Sword Art Online Alicization War of Underworld uh, on Saturday at noon it's coming back this Saturday it was on break because of the holidays so I can't wait for it to come back and then I do One Piece reviews on Saturday night so stay tuned for all of that there's also Boku Naruto Next Generation uh, that is coming to my channel again because um, they're actually adapting the manga so I'm gonna review uh, this episode later this uh, week or I think next week so stay tuned for all of that because there's a lot of things going on on the channel so follow me at anime specialist on Twitter and Instagram and like comment, subscribe it would help my channel a lot man so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video anime specialist out peace